Hello, I'm Terry Gilliam with the Leaving California Groups. Today, I am speaking with Chad Hughes. Chad has the unique distinction of being our only realtor partner, preferred realtor, who works two different markets. He works the San Diego market and the Texas market. So hello, Chad. Hi, Terry. Thanks for having me on today. Sure, it's my pleasure. Well, Chad, you handle, as I said, two markets. Yeah. So let's talk about both of them. Can we start with the San Diego market? You cover the entire area. You've got a team that works down there. Can you yeah. tell us how you're able to cover the entire market and then also what's going on in the San Diego market as far as houses selling, things like that? Yeah, Terry. Well, as you said, um, it can be quite challenging to cover uh, a market as big as San Diego, but uh, we have um, a very strong team of agents that specialize in different areas. We're able to cover uh, all of San Diego and also into Riverside County. Um, so we always have someone in a particular area that's, uh, that's able to help out. Good. And then what are you seeing in the San Diego market? Is it on fire like the rest of the country and the rest of California? Yeah, the San Diego market right now is, is pretty crazy. I mean, there's a lot of things that are attributing uh, to that. Obviously, the low interest rates, uh, low inventory. I think our inventory is still below 2,700 homes uh, in a county that size, which is uh, very low. Um, so there's a lot of things contributing, but the, the, uh, the market is uh, pretty tough right now. A lot of the sellers, I mean, buyers are doing crazy things just to get their offers accepted. Uh, you know, they're offering way above uh, list price. They're offering to remove uh, appraisal contingencies, all sorts of things, just to get their offer accepted at this point. Well, how long have you been in the market? How long have you uh, been in the real estate and uh, worked in the San Diego market? Yeah, so I got my license back in, uh, my salesperson license back in 2010. Uh, and I started in residential real estate right away. I kind of got into uh, commercial real estate for a little bit, still do some uh, commercial real estate. Then I got my broker's license in 2014 and uh, my business partner and I uh, bought the company that we have um, just a few years after that, Mission Realty Group. And we've been growing ever since. We have close to 50 agents now that work in uh, San Diego and Texas as well. That's great growth for uh, in 2010. That was a challenging time to be in real estate, as I recall. It yeah, <laughs> it was. It was fun. We had a lot of, you know, being in uh, the residential and commercial space, we had a lot of investors that were flipping homes and, and whatnot at the same time. So uh, we had a lot of listings and we're introduced to some buyers that way as well. I gotcha. And then what are you seeing in, you've been in the business for a while now, We've been through these cycles before where it's bidding wars, bidding wars, and then it always ends at some point. Of course, there's no crystal ball, but do you have a feel for when or how long this is going to continue or any kind of gut for that? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, like you said, nobody has a crystal ball, but there are some indicators that we could watch out for. Uh, like, like we said before, the, the leading things that are driving this are low interest rates, um, and the low inventory. And once we see either one of those change significantly, um, that means there's gonna be a softening in the market a little bit. What I, the one indicator that I really like to look at is the number of pending sales. And if the number of pending sales starts dropping while the number of active listings is increasing, that's gonna be the first sign um, that we're gonna see a flattening. But to, to answer your question, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Oh, you don't? No. We've, got, uh, we've seen an increase in rates a little bit, uh, but every home, and we've seen an up, uptick in listings, but every home that comes on the market is gobbled up right away. Hmm. So there's a lot of pent up demand. A lot of people who are frustrated. In fact, our realtor partner, Shay in Greenville, South Carolina, told me today she's getting ready to close one but they had to put in nine offers in Greenville, South Carolina. So I hear that across the country and you're probably, as you said, seeing it in San Diego and also in Texas. Yeah, in San Diego on our listings, we're receiving, uh, I mean, we've had we listed a home a couple of weekends ago, had uh, 80 showings over the weekend and received over 20 offers. So um, it, it's getting nuts and, and working with buyers, 
The nice thing is that I've been in the San Diego market for quite some time. And like you said, we've seen this wave come and go a little bit as far as being on the buyer side, trying to get those offers accepted. And that's kind of giving me an edge when I'm helping the people who are moving from California into the Texas area where this is new for Texas. It's not something um, that they've necessarily seen before. So uh, just having that experience and, and knowing how to get our offers accepted on some of these homes has been helping my buyers out a little bit. Let's, let's change our uh, over to Texas. So tell us about where you are in Texas, how you decided to, to uh, open up a real estate office there, and then what you're seeing in the market in, in your area of Texas there. Well, our venture into uh, Texas uh, wasn't really strategic as far as, you know, I mean, we had a lot of people that were relocating. We'd, we'd find agents for them out there. Uh, out in Texas and, and, you know, everybody was happy. Uh, then I had some family that started moving out to Texas. So I decided to get my broker's license uh, and, um, and help them out uh, just because I wanted them to be ta well taken care of and whatnot. And then it just kind of grew from there. We had more uh, clients that were looking to do the same thing. We had some investors that were selling in California and buying investment properties in Texas and then had agents that, you wanted to relocate to the area and and whatnot so uh it just kind of grew organically and it's been it's been going really well especially during this time and can you tell us where you are in the in the texas oh. market yeah sorry so specifically i'm in the sub i'm in leander the suburbs uh north of austin and service uh the clean and and austin area primarily. okay and you've got, just as before in San Diego, you've got a decent sized team that can handle that market if people want to come out and tour and things like that. Yeah. And one of the unique, unique things about our team is we work really closely with the military and we have for many years. So um, as far as uh, families relocating, this is something that we've done for a long time. We've been able to help people from out of the area if they're PCSing into San Diego or um, you know, if they're deployed and, and not right there with us, we can help them virtually. Um, that's something that a lot of people had to adapt to uh, when COVID hit, hit us a year ago, uh, doing things a little bit more virtually. So that's just something that we did, we've done for many years. Obviously, we've been able to fine tune that a little bit, but it's kind of um, helped us quite a bit during the last year, but also with people relocating uh, to Texas. Hmm. And in your areas, say Leander, Colleen, that, that type of thing, are you, are you working with the several, Cal I mean, a lot of Californians that are moving out your way? And and uh, and if so, what's what's attracting them to that area? Yeah, so my business in Colleen is primarily uh, military. There's a lot of uh, military that's PCSing to the area or, or even some who um, have lived in the area for a little while but are now deciding to buy homes. And um, in the Leander, the area, the suburbs north of uh, Austin, we're seeing a lot of people that are relocating from California. Um, and they're, they're coming for various different reasons. Uh, you know, affordability is one, the political environment is, is different uh, in Texas than it is in California. Uh, family, uh, job opportunities, a lot of uh, businesses are relocating to the area. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons that we're seeing as far as why people are moving from California to Texas. And you've got all sorts of jobs. I know technology, you've got Dell Computer there on the north side of the Austin Metro. Is that close to where people could commute from Leander to, to Dell Computer? Yeah, absolutely. It is. And, and a lot of people are doing just that. They're, they're buying out in the suburbs and either telecommuting or commuting commuting into work. Obviously, the big one that a lot of people are talking about is the Tesla factory uh, just outside of Austin. And uh, we've got a lot of people that are, are a lot of phone calls from people that are interested in that. And also investors that are keeping an eye on the area, uh, anticipating some uh, appreciation and, and some good rentals out there. And then in the Austin market, you've got the University of, of Texas there. Um, can you talk about the, the schools there? I, I assume, I know that taxes are high, property taxes are high, and I want to talk about that also uh, compared to, to other states, but the benefit is, is they really put it into things like schools and things like that. So I assume you've got high quality education in your area. 
Yeah, the, the schools are really great. And I'm glad you brought that up, Terry. That's one of the biggest questions that we get from people that are relocating from California is they don't understand how the property tax rate can be 3% in one subdivision and another one nearby is 1.6. And you know, in our market in California and San Diego, property tax is around 1.2. There are some areas that have the mill roofs or something like that on, on, on top of it. But um, but yeah, in, in a state where there's no um, personal or corporate income tax, uh, you're going to have higher property taxes. And there's various reasons for that. Some of it goes into uh, schools and the infrastructure and everything around. And I have a feeling they're a lot more responsible with your tax money than, than they are in California, where it just goes into a black hole and <laughs> nobody's nobody's accountable for it yeah absolutely absolutely and then how about recreation and things like that i is lake i think lake travis is over that way or or the lakes or whatever i don't i can't exactly remember but can you talk about recreational what people do in the area yeah um so lake travis is nearby there's a lot of um there's a lot of parks and, and parks are different so in texas parks are big and, and spread out uh, there's a lot of lakes, uh, you know, one of the things that some Californians hesitate in, in moving away from is the beach, right? I mean, you've got the beach right there and, and whatnot, but, but out here there's a lot of uh, big lakes, uh, boating, camping, uh, a lot of outdoor activity is what people mostly do out here. And uh, unlike Florida, you don't have alligators to deal with, right? <laughs> That's right. And the, the nice thing about uh, specifically where I'm at in Texas is uh, we, for the most part, avoid a lot of the extreme weather. So we don't get many tornadoes or, you know, we're just northwest of where the hurricanes would come through or too far for that. Um, obviously, Texas was hit with the snowmageddon a few, a few weeks ago, which is uh, something that they haven't, uh, it hasn't been on uh, recorded history uh, before, so um, it, it wasn't something that we anybody anticipated. But uh, but anyway, for the most part, we avoid a lot of that extreme weather. Yeah, and and you're plenty far enough away from the Gulf. If you get a hurricane, it's going to be <laughs> pretty much downgraded by the time it actually reaches your area. It's it's really it's the storm surge that is the biggest danger, and then houses are built to withstand high winds because it's it's Texas or it's east of the Rockies where where you get high wind almost anywhere. Yeah. So it's not like it's a it's a big deal. They build for it and they're they're you're ready for it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's one of the things that uh, I actually enjoy, you know, being from San Diego, there isn't much extreme weather at all. It's uh, uh, nice and sunny about 75 year round and I I love that weather, but it's nice to uh, see a few lightning storms every once in a while. Yeah. And then let's talk about the summer since we're talking about weather. It gets really hot there and it gets humid, yeah. but, uh, that, you know, people can buy homes with pools, but what, what is your experience of living through the, the summers in Texas? Yeah, it's hot um, and it's constantly hot. Uh, you know, in, in, again, in Southern California, um, it, it can get really hot uh, for a few weeks at a time. But, um, but in Texas, it, it'll last for a few months. Uh, in my area, it doesn't get super humid. It'll get sticky a, a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, we like to go down to the river, uh, jump in the water, and uh, a lot of splash pads. I've got two young kids, so we go to the, the parks with the splash pads and whatnot. And, uh, a lot of the communities out here have pools in them that you, even if you don't want to put one in your backyard, the communities a, a lot of time will have a pool or splash pads and stuff for the kids to play in. That's great. All right, Chad, as we, as we wind down here, is there anything else you want to add about the benefits of, well, first of all, let's, let's talk about the discount that you're going to offer for people who list their, um, you, you're willing to offer a discount for those who are, are looking to sell their home in San Diego off of, the, off of your commission for those who come through the group. And, um, and then tell us about the service that you offer for people who want to sell their houses in San Diego. Yeah, and it's one of the things that, that we've done. So first of all, uh, we are offering a discount in the listing side of the commission if it's a referral from the Living California group. Uh, so if you come to us because of that, make sure to let us know. Uh, and then uh, we're full service brokerage. So uh, I've got a full-time team, like I said, with multiple 
agents on the team. We have a, um, a professional photographer that goes out, takes photos and videos of, of the home and someone who is solely dedicated to the social media marketing and getting the home out. Uh, so uh, we do, we hit the home with a, a lot of different aspects on the marketing side. Our goal is to get as many people uh, interested in the home in that first week as possible and, and drive up interest. And one of the nice things about having the same team in San Diego and Texas is that we can get the same level of service um, to our client on, on both ends of it. So we have uh, a, a good stream of uh, communication when we're uh, helping them sell the home, timing that with buying and kind of explaining the differences. It's a whole different animal buying a home in a different state, especially if it's some place that you haven't been to or lived to before. Um, and our team is set up to explain those differences quite well. Um, it, it's been working out pretty well so far. That's awesome. All right, Chad. Well, it's been great. I, I really appreciate your time today and uh, appreciate your, you've been in the group for quite a while, well over a year. And yeah. just want to thank you for the folks that you've been connecting with through the groups. And, um, and again, appreciate everything that you've done and uh, looking forward to hearing about the success of you, you and your team helping people move from the San Diego market to Texas or other places. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that, Terry. And I appreciate what you're doing. A lot of people just think, it, you know, some of these are, are other Facebook groups, but it really is a good service and a good resource for anyone who's looking uh, at moving anywhere uh, in the United States. There's some, some great realtors that are contributing to the group. A lot of um, great people that are answering questions. And uh, you've been very active in, in moderating everything and making sure that everything's moving forward in a positive direction. So appreciate the work that you're doing. Well, thank you, Chad. That's very kind of you. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. You too.